Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video I'm going to show you how to open a remitly account and safely send money internationally. So let's get started. So first of all, go into your browser and go into remitly.com and from here, if you don't have an account, then you can just go here or click here and sign up. But if you already have one, I suggest that you log in first. And from here, what we're going to do is that we're just going to use this one. So from here, we're going to select a country. So let's say we want to send to Philippines from United States right here. So we're just going to click here on get started if this was you want. But of course, you can feel free to customize whatever you want. So let's say I want to send maybe just uh, $5 or maybe 50 right here. And this is what it's going to be in uh, Philippine peso. So this is it. So I'm just going to click here on get this rate right here. So as you can see, it says zero fees, by the way. So I think that would be great. And from here, since we don't have an account yet, so we didn't log in, then first we would need to create a remotely profile. So from here, we're going to go provide our email address right here and provide a password for that email address right there. And click on sign up. And now let's just wait for this one to load right here and now it's loading and from here the next step would be this one right here so from here what i want to tell you is that depending on which country you are sending for example click on this flag so that you can choose what country you are going to send to so this would affect the delivery method on how your money would get there of course it would be different for uh country so for here in the philippines let's say we'll stick with the philippines right here and click on send money and in Philippines, this will be the delivery method right here. As you can see, these are delivery methods. And take note, if it is a different country, then you might not be seeing exactly the same right here. So let's say, let's go put our amount first, 50 again. And the delivery method would be, let's say, a home delivery. And click on select. And go for the payment methods. So take note that this would affect how fast it is going to transfer. So make sure that you cur that you select the preferred one. So let's say we want bank account and click on send. And from here, we're going to click now on continue. From here, click on LBC. And then from here, all you have to do is input the recipient's name. So let's say uh, for the sake of this, let's just go for uh, right there, just for an example. And from here, your recipient address, then you can just put something right here their address make sure that it is correct because it is very important since we are doing the payment methods of home delivery but if you're just going for uh, something else then you can just go and provide the address right here let's say this one click continue and the phone number right here right there let's say that one and let's do it again right there click on continue and from here you can go for uh, if you would like to text your recipient for the transfer updates and uh, most of you would probably say yes please and from here you need to input your details so in my case i'll just put my uh, sample right here and my date of birth would be something maybe uh something like that and click on continue and click on confirm and make sure that it matches your id that is very important for verification processes so that you won't have any troubles in your delivery and it would uh, seamlessly be delivered to your uh, recipient click confirm and from here you would need to provide the address the yeah, street line street address line one the apartment suite city state and so on right here so in my case i'll just go for texas and uh, maybe i'll just go for this one and so now the next one is uh, this you would need to provide your phone number so in my case i'll just put something right here and click on continue and now the next one is to select a payment method so remember that it would affect your transfer speed depending on the payment method that you are going to select and speed may not be available on this screen but it's always estimated in the transfer summary before you send so from here let's say that you are going to go for credit card because it's faster then you can go for this one new card 
And from here, you want to make sure that you know this, your card will not be charged until you confirm the total and pay on the next step. And also, your transaction will not go through as long as your card hasn't been charged yet. So when the money would go through, then that, is, that would be the start of the transfer. And all you have to do now is provide your card number, expiration date, security code, and other information needed. This is the last step. All you have to do is just basically just pay for it. And after that, then you would now be able to transfer or send money from your place to Philippines right here or into any other country using remotely. So yeah, I think it is all good here. And because this is the last step right here and that is basically how you send money here in remotely in any parts of the world so i hope this video helped you out thank you for watching